Hi everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about the top five ways to manage your mental health and well-being throughout your knee recovery and rehab process. Hi everyone, so today we're talking about your mental health and your mental well-being when it comes to the recovery and rehab after knee replacement surgery. So this is a really important topic that I like to talk about because it is so prevalent that people struggle with different aspects of their mental health and their mental wellness at some point or throughout their knee replacement recovery. Um, there was one study that showed that about 50% of the people that were surveyed and that participated had some aspect and some symptoms of depression at some point throughout their recovery from knee replacement surgery. So things like depression, anxiety, hopelessness, these are all very prevalent when it comes to your knee replacement recovery and rehab. And if you're someone who is going through the knee replacement process or is already gone through a knee replacement and recovered and had therapy and everything like that, it's really obvious to see that, you know, you have a ton of pain, ton of swelling, stiffness, um, you're less mobile, you can't do as much activity, and the rehab and the recovery is a very long process. It's longer than a lot of people expect and think. It can be a number of weeks. It can be a number of months. It could be even longer than that. So um, mental health, mental wellness is definitely a serious and a prevalent thing. Um, other things that you see are people are very fatigued. There's difficulty sleeping or insomnia. There's depression and anxiety, like I already said. People have feelings of indecisiveness, loss of appetite, um, lack of interest in just normal daily activities and things and other people. The individual, you, don't, you just don't feel like yourself. You feel like you're just not you. You're not normal, being how you are normally. Um, you feel hopeless. You feel lonely and isolated. And even at some point, it can escalate to you know feeling like you're going to cause harm or want to cause harm to yourself or others. So very serious topic. Let's talk about something positive. Let's talk about how can we manage this? How can we manage your mental health and mental wellness throughout the rehab and recovery process? So number one is having a mindset of acceptance. So accepting that this is the nature of the beast. This is what a knee replacement recovery and rehab is going to look like. There's going to be a lot of symptoms. There's going to be a lot of pain. There's going to be stiffness. There's going to be fatigue and difficulty sleeping. And it's going to take a while. It could take a number of weeks. It could take months. It may take even a little longer than that to really feel like your normal self again. And the big thing to take home with that is this is temporary and it will get better and you will feel better. It might take a really long time. It might take much longer than you wish it to. But slowly over time, for the vast majority of individuals, you recover, you'll feel better, and you'll be happy that you had a certain knee replacement surgery in the long term. So acceptance is number one. Number two is foster and have and maintain those social supports. If that's family members, friends, other individuals who are going through the knee replacement process or have done it before, who you can share questions, concerns, comments. Um, you can just, you know, realize that you're not alone and all these people who have gone through a knee replacement surgery and have come out on the other side happy and um, successful and that you can get through this with some help and some support and helps you to not feel isolated and alone throughout this process. Number three is set goals. Set goals that are achievable, have long-term goals way out in terms of being able to maybe do a certain activity or thing or fully, you know, recovering from surgery, and have short-term goals. Have goals for each day, such as, you know, today I'm going to 
check off these three things on my to-do list. Maybe it's exercise, do my physical therapy exercise, go for a walk, and make sure to ice my knee three times. Set goals that are small, step-by-step. Step, they're going to lead up to that big goal of recovery. Um, that's going to keep you motivated, and it's going to keep you focused on what you're doing and not distracted from everything else going on in the outside world. And that brings me to number four is focus on what's within your circle of control. So there's so many different things when it comes to a knee replacement, when it comes to any life event or thing going on in our life. There's the things that are within our control, and then there's everything else that is most parts outside of our control. And all the things outside of our control, we obviously can't control it. There's nothing we can do about it really. And we have to come to a place of accepting that and instead focus on those things that are within our control. What are we going to do today to help um, point us in the right direction, help have my knee start to heal, improve my range of motion, improve my strength, decrease my pain? What are the things in the right direction and the right actions I can take today and I can control and not worry about everything else that is very much so out of our control? That's number four. Number five is seek help. Seek professional help. That's nothing to be um, feel like you're a failure. You shouldn't feel like you're a failure. You shouldn't feel like you're doing something wrong or you did something wrong. Um, mental health is something, it's real. It's prevalent. It's common. Um, so many people deal with it. So many people deal with it who are recovering from a major surgery, such as a knee replacement. So having something that you're dealing with and seeking that professional help of a doctor, a therapist, a psychologist, psychiatrist, whoever that may be, that's going to only help you in the long run. We look at an individual, we look at the whole individual. Yes, you had a knee replacement. Yes, we're going to focus on that knee and your range of motion and your strength and your walking and those things. But we have to look at the whole individual and all the things that play a part in your health, your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, it all plays a part and it's all very important. So do not be afraid and don't feel shy to seek out professional help when you need to. And a bonus one, if you're someone who is out there who hasn't had any replacement surgery yet, maybe you're preparing or planning for surgery or you're deciding if surgery is right for you, the number one thing you can do right now is Prepare. Prepare yourself. Know what to expect when it comes to a knee replacement. What to expect in terms of your goals and your outcome. What to expect in terms of how long the recovery process is and what is included and what is part of that recovery process. And that will help kind of eliminate some of that shock and some of that, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into when you are already coming from a place of being prepared, being knowledgeable, and knowing that you know, you're going to have some struggles, you're going to have a lot of symptoms, a lot of pain, but in the long run, for the vast majority of people, you're going to have a great outcome and recovery. So those are my five plus the bonus one of ways to maintain and keep good mental health and good mental well-being throughout the knee replacement um, recovery and rehab and the knee replacement journey and process. So thank you very much for watching everyone. As always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe. I post videos regularly. Check us out on Facebook, check us out on all social media, and check us out at nearreplacementtherapist.com. Thank you very much for watching and take care.